The NBC10 investigators found the state of Pennsylvania has been collecting surgeon-specific information for years. Investigator reporter Mitch Blocker discovered they've been storing it, and some say hoarding it, since 1988. Tell us more, Mitch. Guys, ProPublica has given us a sneak peek into surgeon complication rates, but their information only includes Medicare patients. So when we found every surgical outcome in the state in an office building in Harrisburg, it made us ask why all of that information hasn't been given to those who need it most, the patients. Not, in a nondescript government office in Harrisburg, down a hallway and in a back room, servers store tens of millions of surgical outcomes. All told, we're collecting data from about 500 different healthcare facilities in the state of Pennsylvania. Joe Martin is the keeper of that information. He's executive director of the Pennsylvania Healthcare Cost Containment Council, known as PHC4. We collect uh, records from every hospital in the state every year on every inpatient hospital admission going back to about 1988. The agency was created in 1986 to look at the rising costs of health care. It's funded by taxpayers but also makes money by selling some of its data to what it calls health care stakeholders. It turns some of the information it collects into public reports. We're not interested in just throwing numbers out there. We want to put information out there that can help people um, not just to satisfy some general goal of transparency. Our news partners at ProPublica just released data on surgeon complication rates for eight common elective procedures, including knee and hip replacements. Critics say ProPublica's information is limited because it only includes Medicare patient outcomes from 2009 to 2013 and is based on billing data, not medical records. In Pennsylvania, PHC4 stores and collects enough information to fill in the blanks. Don't you have an obligation to get as much of it out to the public as possible? We have an obligation to get as much of it out to the public as possible, and we have an obligation to make sure that the data that gets out there um, is credible in terms of its utility. Martin says the raw information needs context, which is what his staff works to provide in reports such as these. For cardiac surgeries in Pennsylvania, PHC4 names surgeons and rates them based on in-hospital mortality and if a patient is readmitted within 30 days. In its knee and hip replacement report, the agency rates hospitals based on readmissions. It also names doctors and includes how many procedures they've done, but does not say how many complications patients had. The science is still in its early stages in terms of how you can do these kinds of risk adjustments in a way that is fair to the physicians as, uh, as well as the patients. It's my opinion that that information should be made public, that it shouldn't be kept secret. Philadelphia Trial Lawyer Association President Joe Messa says releasing information on all surgical outcomes would prevent patients from becoming clients. You have to look at the people whose lives have been shattered and give them the tools, if it's available, to make informed decisions. Mesa says if other groups like ProPublica can crunch the numbers and provide complication rates, so should PHC4. Evaluating and analyzing data is something that's done in this day and age by computers. But for now, the information will stay locked in these servers while Pennsylvania patients go under the knife, only knowing part of what they hold. Now, hospitals and surgery centers across the Commonwealth have to legally report their outcomes to PHC4 every year. The group told us there are extensive security measures to keep the patient information safe. Martin also told us that when they do sell it to third parties, all that patient identifying information is removed. For the investigators, I'm Mitch Blocker, NBC10 News.